I don't, I don't know if we are seasoned veterans yet. Um, we've, we've just did it once before and, and had a really, a really great experience all around. And then we just got here um, last night, I think at like midnight. And this is our first time even coming back down to 6th Street. And um, yeah, I don't know. It's just like a, a really good city. I, I like Austin a lot. I think for Texas, it's definitely something different. And just looking forward to getting back into running around like chickens with our heads cut off, <laughs> going bar to bar, show to show. I had a lot of moments. I remember that we did, we did a lot of shows last year, and our, our last show out of nine total, I think, we ended up playing at this house party through some guy. I think we had, how did we even meet that guy? He just sent us an, a message or an email. I think we knew him from a, a band that we had met on tour, on a previous tour in like January or something. Some, some, some way we were connected with this dude. Yeah, and we just, uh, Everybody was, was pretty exhausted and, and really tired at that point, and we didn't know what to expect. We didn't know if it was going to be like, you know, one, one guy who had just heard about us or just something crazy, and it turned out to be like the perfect amount of people and just really nice, great people who want to listen to music, and he had like a full open bar and barbecue, and it was like the perfect, the perfect ending show. I think we all went a little too crazy the second that we ended our last set, so... Well, last year, yeah, I mean, we, we'd never been there, and all these bands were, like, that had been there trying to give us advice, saying you should just play as many shows as you can because it's really hard to get noticed because there's three, 4,000 bands trying to do exactly what you're doing. So um, just keep your head up and do your best. And turns out, like you said, it, it, uh, I think we were one in, one in a million, like, case. You know, we were, like, really, really stunned at the response that we got. So this time around, it's all much bigger shows and parties that we're playing so I think everyone is just trying to make sure to play well because it'll be on a bigger um, I mean everything we'll be doing will be under a microscope right. yeah I mean it's still I think we're all we're just taking it taking it step by step and and trying not to think too much about that stuff I, w I would think that we're probably we still have a very long way to go but it, it, it was it was a lot easier to book shows this year yeah. it, it was last year we were emailing everybody that we knew and, and trying and up until last year up until like a week before the festival I think we only had two shows booked and then it we got like seven I think in like a matter of like two days and this year we luckily had time to sort of plan out and, and pick between a few different ones. Uh, it's been it's been great I, I wish we could be in the place that we're releasing you know at the time that we were releasing it because it came out in the UK in November and we were on a US tour and this time around, it came out in February, and we were on a European tour. But we kept getting all these emails and um, things from friends saying, like, oh, you know, the people, I, my friend just bought the record, and they're super stoked. And so it was nice to see a lot of, um, of our own, like, of our own country responding to our music, because we've been waiting for that for a while. We had a, the name itself is, is just sort of a, a phrase or a term, whatever you want to say, a title that Ryan thought of as sort of an homage to the fact that, that we wrote the whole album between two houses that the band lived together in. The first one was in Southern Orange County. And we got a good chunk of that done there, all living together. And then we made the move up to LA about a year and a half ago. And then we added and changed some songs from there. And it was just the idea of you know, we were we were pouring our heart and souls into this music that we took very very seriously, and at the same time, it was, you know, just five friends that were living together and all the, the unexpected craziness that sort of comes with that. And and we liked that idea of Gorilla Manor because it sort of balanced that, the playful yet you know very uh, passionate and serious side of it too. The house was in Orange. Yeah, in Orange. Um, yeah that's where a lot of us met um, three or four years ago. So we we uh, we lived like a couple doors down from like another great band, of, uh, friends of ours, and we were just like it was it was a really great time. Um, I really like that part of Orange County a lot with all the old houses and stuff. We met like a lot of great bands down there that we're still really good friends with, but there wasn't. We we did have a hard time still like getting shows and and getting shows that we felt really good about and strong, and that was that was a reason why. LA seemed, you know, really attractive to us and, and moving up there, I guess it was, you know, almost a numbers game if you want to look at it that way. We had, we were meeting a lot of like-minded artists from LA and, and we really liked the, the east side and sort of felt really comfortable there. We really, uh, I think, fell into it and it really just became home rather quickly. It was nice because we had been making contacts, like you said, just with different bands and different club people and then 
um, did a residency at Silver Lake Lounge in February, um, pretty soon after we moved there of last year. And uh, the reception has just been growing and it's been great ever since. And we weren't really sure how we would fit in a scene like Los Angeles. Because um, I, didn't, I didn't really see too many bands um, doing the kind of music that we were doing. That's a good way to put it. <laughs> Tour touring the universe for all time. Um, yeah, we have a US tour that kicks off with Coachella. And we go uh, into June just doing the whole US with another band from Brooklyn called Suckers that we really like. Um, and then past that, just a bunch of festivals, y Europe stuff, um, just, yeah, just touring until probably early next year when we'll start working on the next album. I mean, we, we've only done one festival as a band ever, so the fact that we're doing any festivals <laughs> at this point, I think I, everybody's, I think, equally excited about all of them. I know, you know, growing up in and, you know, I was from Colorado, but I spent a lot of time in Orange County and then L.A., you know, Coachella is like, was one of those things where it's like, you'd always be like, God, if we, you know, I wonder if we could ever play Coachella. And, and then when we got asked, it was totally out of left field. It, nobody ever fathomed that we'd get that one. So, and it's cool because it's sort of the first one in, in a string of them.